Welcome to this episode my friends and today I will look at saving the order information and then saving it to the database so that we can proceed with the next steps. So let us look at the current state of our components and how things are. Now there is one component which is completely disconnected which is this you know order form component which has the customer information okay this information is not at all visible to my order group okay so my order group has ordered items which means whenever i'm adding something to this right i do get the array of ordered items which is fine you know this is exactly what i wanted i have the total price as well however the phone number and other fields are not available and so the problem will be that the order group component is not able to save this information right so if you can see oh by the way it is not working even in the order form because i think i have made a mistake in my order form these are v binds i don't know why that happened uh, these should be models v models okay so once that is done at least we should have this working and yes so now we need to figure out a way to pass this information to order group okay we will save that information in our order group component as let's say customer details Okay, which is let's say my null by default so how do we do it we will use the same concept of you know the event bus however there is um, a challenge in here i will explain you in a way in a bit so we we'll come over here okay this is our data object then we will have a watch now if you remember let's see um inside mm -hmm. right inside our menu search when we had done the functionality of in a search and filter we had a watch we were watching a search string which is a data property and based on that we were emitting events now this is fine this was working and if we take the same approach we will run into a problem let's see what is that so we have the name of the variable as you know, a function we have a value and let's just console log changed customer and we have value okay save it come over here this is this doesn't work right it will not because it doesn't recognize the objects yet however if we had name in here okay which was empty by default and if we have changed this we have already seen that this should work right hmm that's interesting so i have a watch on name which is similar to this I have value so what happened oh I'm, I'm sorry we need to bind it as well that's the reason it's not working so name it's compiled hit refresh and now you can see this watch does work which means if I have an object okay in our data property and if we are trying to add a watch to it it will not work and I don't want three variables all being you know uh, watched for and then emitted so there is a clean way to do that which we will see right now I'll undo this I will remove the watch and we will have customer which is an object okay unlike 
here where we made it a function. So we'll say this is an object. It has a an handler which has the value and the parameter. And let's say we will just do, do console.log value and then value. And um, I think it was here where we can say deep is equal to true. Okay. This is very important. So this is telling view that you know we need to look deep into this object because there are certain properties which can change. Once we do that and hit refresh, this works. If you see the last one should have the name, sorry, name, 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 name. Okay, ASDF, so it will change. And let's say we, so let's say we change the password as well to some address. And if we look at the last one, we have this. So what is happening? We have been you know, successfully able to watch an object by you know, having this flag. So now what we will do is in here, we can now raise an event like, right? So first of all, I'll select customer equals um name would be value dot name sorry right and i have three i have name i have phone number i have address and then once this is done window dot event bus dot emit customer details changed and let's send out the customer object. So this is going to be an event which is being fired from the order form. So on created, we will listen for this event or let's keep it a little simple. Let's see if we can do it this, this if emit because this is a direct child so we should be able to do that. Okay. Um, where is my order form? Order form, right? So at the rate, customer detail changed. This dot. Oh, uh, okay. And you need to bear with me because recently I have been doing a lot of React JS. So I'm now a little confused with the um uh, what confused with the syntaxes between view and react so let me let me see so this is event no i need to figure out how so this is it at the rate it will become customer detail handle okay i think that's how it was if I'm not completely wrong and I'll get the customer. Let's console.log first. Custom. So I don't need the search in here. I am emitting this customer detail change um, in here. I have done this. This is the function which will handle and if I save everything, hit refresh, let's see if we are able to get that. Okay, we do. So this is working. Basically we have, right, everything is available to us. So now it's very simple. I think um, if you look at our order group. Mm -hmm. We will just do this dot customer details is equal to customer, right? Hit refresh and we have the customer details. We have the ordered items and we have the value. So now we can create a save button somewhere, let's say here. Uh, oh, okay. That's not part of the order group. 
uh, why don't we create the button somewhere here um, so this is my row I need to check how it is being laid out I think this is the entire component and this is another row so I'll introduce one more hmm now that can be a problem because it should have a parent row okay so I'll have div okay this is formatted I have div one more div where I'll have class row and why don't we have a button in here and let's see so I think it's float left but it's not working for some reason let me see this is I'll try this if this doesn't work then maybe we'll check that out later but okay so all right yeah I think I, I was missing the column and that's why it was not working so we'll keep it three and i have this save button and what we need to do now is inside our methods i'll have handle order save okay let order data is equal to an empty object all right and what all things do we need we need customer details which will be this dot customer details we need total price which is going to be this dot again uh, total price and we need ordered items and this is an array so ordered items is equal to this dot ordered items now once this is done we will initially do console dot log and see if we are able to get the entire order data in here hit refresh okay add add save not working because i haven't done anything to that button and that's why this problem so at the right click seems a little sloppy right now but anyways let's say 390 okay so we have total price reflected ordered items is re being reflected and customer details obviously this is done right this is ready and why don't we um, change one more thing before we uh, move ahead what, which is I just need the IDs right the ordered items so let's see if we can do something like um, let ordered items IDs is an empty array and this dot for each now item ordered items IDs dot push item dot ID okay and what if we just have this instead of the entire set of objects because anyways in the laravel um, api we don't need the rest of the object right because we just need the ids so ordered items right we have 0 and 10 uh, sorry 1 and 10 which means this is working why don't we add one more clear this out hit save and we have 3, 11, 1 and 10. Let's do it one more time and let's confirm with the database that we are getting the correct thing. So ordered items 2, 1 and 10. So cart noodle 
ऑर्डर्ड आइटम्स मेन्यू कार्ड नूडल्स शुड बी टू वेर इज कार्ड नूडल्स इट्स टेन देन वी हैव टू विच इज चिकन बेजिंग सूप विच इज फाइन एंड वी हैव वन सो इट विल बी बारमी सूप राइट सो वी हैव करेक्ट डेटा इन प्लेस एंड सो क्विकली ऑल दो वी वॉन्ट हैंडल दिस सेव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड बट लेट से I will just create the Axios call so that we can, you know, see how things are. Restaurant, restaurant order controller. This is add. This is index. Resto find or fail. Add. Okay. Let's have one more public function which is save or rather store. We'll have the request object. in here and why don't we right now just return request all okay so whatever we are sending we will receive it back then in here we have axios so axios dot post the first is url let's say it is going to be api.php we will need to create a new url post menu order save okay this will be rest or st au oh, leave it i'll just copy this so that we don't make a mistake so restaurant order dot store okay and that should handle the api right order slash save this is going to be our order data right so in post we send the url the data and inside then we'll get the response which we will console dot log so let's see if things are done properly we should be able to see no we don't because it is api slash so one more time add these three items and then hit save and in response we do get back customer details is null total price right uh, just to be sure we will add a log as well okay and let's open no um log files i always seems to have some problem with the log file opening so today is 19th and i don't have a file for that so i think once i have the logger it will create the file so hit the button again okay and we have the 19th file and we do get all the information which we need so in the next video we will handle the you know, api part where we will save this information of the customer and we will do certain kinds of validations as well uh, before we move on so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel